Lost man said there's bitches somewhere around here. One step closer. Still waiting on the uh, to get done. Yeah. Cool. Imagine yeah, that. Row one in, in Rub's Green. Not perfect. Yeah, that's good. Nice. American made. You see that? Hold on a second. USA. Hey, this is the perfect segue. <laughs> What do you got today, doctor? What's the fucking bullshit? Same as every other day. Today, tomorrow, yesterday, it's all the same. Just today's bullshit is on today? <sighs> yeah, you can, you can watch this stupid fucking process here in a minute. Video it. They're gonna walnut blast the tops of the valves in these. You see what that says on there? Yeah. I want you to come over here, Jordan. Putting this uh, Ford 260 together. Well, we had to buy a new harmonic balancer, and you know, being that we don't make anything in this country anymore, we went with the China brand. I'm not sure. Let's see. Now yeah, there's some numbers for timing. Yeah, there's no company name on here, so it must just be China. So, I want to show you where we're at here. These uh, these press on. They've got about thousands press typically. You want them nice and tight because that's how it absorbs all the harmonics. But when you buy your stuff from China, no press. So, just slips right on in there. Oh, look. They only missed it by 15 thousandths. Maybe the metric to standard conversion guy. So we, we were able to locate a super rare, this timing cover, our other one was hammered. But uh, if this thing, you, nobody makes this style. Typically on a newer cord, this would have a plate on the back, you wouldn't see the impeller, but this one sits up in here. Nobody reproduces this because it's from 64, 65. $400. Yeah, and you can tell it's not perfect, but it's still better than the one we had. So, so we're gonna use some silicone ultra gray. It's my favorite. I eat this stuff. It's just so good. But we're gonna have to use some on here. I mean, I do anyway. But with all that pitting, if you try to just run the gasket, it, it so don't need a ton. You don't have to get stupid with it. Just trying to create a film so that. Pits and porousness.
You see, it's got plenty. It's got over a hundred. This side, the intake's the one that's close. So, if I can sneak this off of here and actually check it with calipers, you can kind of see a profile of the valve, how it, you know, how it impressions. So, get a best measurement I can. So 90 on the intake, over 100 on the exhaust, that'll be fine. This thing won't ever see over probably 5,200 RPM. So if it was a race motor, it might be marginal, but it'll be fine. I mean, when you put it in gear, it just dies. But you can pad the gas, and then it'll sit there and idle it up. I don't know. Hey. Okay. Yeah, it's a that it ought to fucking have from a 79 to a I put a 40 in it and now you actually put it in gear and it stays the same idle I'm gonna change these front ones out they got like 63's it's supposed to have a 70 oh, a fucking little Chinese fuck put these in here this is what happens when a really good carburetor company like quick fuel gets bought out by a shit fucking conglomerate bunch of corporate ass fucks that send a quality product and have it made in China, turns into garbage. Yeah, quick feel this would be the bomb, man. This, their carburetor is awesome. This is about the closest thing you could get to, you know, a custom carburetor that you could just buy, like, right out of the box. Their stuff was so good. Elixir, my man, right here. Mm. Taste of cheese is going down. <laughs> 